1 verse 1, this is what the Lord says. He says, I will sing of your love and your justice to you, Lord. I will sing praise. He says, I will be careful to lead a blameless life. When will you come to me? He says, I will conduct the affairs of my house with a blameless heart. And here he goes, watch, he's going to guard his eye gate here in his heart. He says, I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. Look how to protect his eye gate. I will not look with approval on anything that is vile. I hate what faithless people do. Look, now it's his tongue is also, he's going to sanctify his tongue. He says, I will have no part in it. He's not going to repeat it. He's not going to gossip about it. He's not going to socialize about it. He's not going to have any part of it. And then finally, Job 31.1, and we have to close. Job 31.1. Again, this is the eye gate. Now the good scripture for the ear gate too. Job 31.1. And he says this. Job chapter 31, verse 1. Especially for every man in the congregation. It's true for women too. Because there's always that covetous shopping eye. Just take a look at your browsing history and you'll see a long list of, my goodness, I really spend two hours shopping, three hours shopping. You're at the office. Shopping on the internet. He says this. He says, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. He says, I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. So for all those out there, in Twitter, and on Facebook, and on YouTube. Look, it's no joke and no surprise that the enemy has come full on assault this generation for sexual sin. To get this generation to normalize it, as if it's no big deal. And God speaks death to the four corners of sexual sin. Death, 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 death. Just look at the life of David. And what happens when he fell to sexual sin with Bathsheba? The Lord is speaking, it is not a joke. It's no surprise that the enemy is going full force after the church and after those that are attempting to walk righteous and holy and tempting them with sexual sin. And that's why you see all the social media algorithms working so hard to defile the church of Christ. What can you do? You have the Holy Spirit in your life that will help you and give you power. Will give you the power to train your eyes to look away. Because once you look, and even if you're looking for a second, you have already fallen. Matthew chapter 25. You've already fallen. But I didn't do anything. But the standard is higher. Because remember, you have the Spirit of the Lord within you, and He will warn you. He said, look, this app is, is very, very dangerous. So you handle it like nitroglycerin. For those of you that are really young and don't know what that is, you handle it as though it's something nuclear. That if you drop it, everything's contaminated. Right? You, you treat it that carefully. You're that, you're that careful with those things that can defile you because you don't want to be defiled. You want to protect your eye gate and your ear gate. We have to.